Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a few of my go-to small crossbody on-the-go bags. And this is a request from one of my favorite people that I talk to you on a weekly basis, especially Marianne. Um, this is for you because you requested this video. So if you Hi Dolly. <laughs> if you want to know what bags I grab when I'm on the go, need to switch out, need to run around, stick around. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, favorite fragrances, skincare, handbags, all the fun stuff that makes us feel good about ourselves because we deserve it. We do. I'm on my lunch break right now, so I'm trying to do this really, really fast. Dolly's sitting here going, what's going on? <laughs> you just ran in. So it's a little bit, you know, on the go, which kind of is the theme of this video. If you like kind of all over the place types of videos, please consider subscribing. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but on to today's, today's video. Today's video, again, is going to be about those go-to items, those um, smaller bags, because I tend to um, openly and lovingly show mostly large size bags because I'm a bigger person. I tend to gravitate towards um, bags of scale. I should say, but I do have a number of smaller bags and need situations where, or have situations where those bags make sense. And in some instances, I com I combine those bags with other bags for the um, situations that come up in life. So um, for instance, like when I go to the office, I mostly work from home, but when I go to the office, I have my Neverfull GM that I carry very often, but I will usually throw in a smaller bag into the Neverfull GM and utilize two bags for the day. Um, or if I'm going out long distance, need to carry a lot of items, I might have um, the larger bag that I normally might carry for the week, but also carry a wallet on chain or some other type of um, smaller bag that I can easily like, you know, tuck the larger bag in the trunk, take out the small bag with like my cards and just run around. So um, we're going to focus mostly on those like go to grab ones and why they do or do not work for me. Um, so let's talk about how I started on, um, pivoting to crossbodies and small bags where I got the mindset. Cause I used to go from like giant, I have a lot of contemporary bags. Um, but all of my, my coach bags, my Michael Kors bags had always been relatively sizable, big enough to throw a laptop in. Cause I was used to work a lot, uh, commute a lot. So, um, I would need those bigger bags to just throw everything in the kitchen sink in. Um, but at some point I started to transition and be able to be a little more flexible with work, or maybe I'd leave my big bag in the office and need a smaller bag to go run around, um, within the town I was working in or at at the time I was living in a smaller town, so it would make sense to have a, a bag I could go and run around to walk the dogs or do whatever. Um, and so, um, the, the bag that kind of thrust me down this journey and unfortunately I can't find the other one, but I found, um, so I had two of these. So it's Michael Kors, um, bag here. This is a wallet on chain and oh, it's got pickles for all over it. And this is a, um, like cap hair version of it. Um, and I had a purple Safiano leather version of it as well. And that is the one I, I carried the most often, but I still have this one and I have no idea where I've put the other one um, in all of the course of moving. But this particular one, I, the style of it just really worked for me for quite some time. There's a pocket here on the back. When you look at it, it looks incredibly small. You would think that you could carry nothing in it, but when you open it up, there are a number of gussets here. This is a sizable, there's change in here. <laughs> there are, it's very sizable. There is a zip pocket at the very front here. There is um, a center compartment. There is another compartment here. And then there's card slots at the back, back here. It's incredibly sizable. It, 
seems like it doesn't hold anything, it holds a ton. And I will tell you case in point, my giant iPhone personal Pro Max phone, I will put that in here in the front. I have my iPhone 12 for work that I was issued. I'll put that in the back. There's still room here in the center. There's still room here in here for more items. I probably could put my keys here in the middle, the card slots in the back. This closes without a problem and it still looks relatively demure. And then there's that slot in the back still. So incredibly sizable. So this started me on my, my journey because I would carry two phones. Didn't have the Pro Max at the time, but I still had two phones. So this, I, this is, this is like my go-to size. So if I see something similar to this, I'm like, oh, okay, this will work. Conversely, I have this Marc Jacobs one and it looks almost identical, correct? If you look at them side by side, they almost look the same size. But when you open this one up, it's just one section. And yes, I could technically grab both my phones out here. I'm sure I could put them in here screen to screen. That kind of scares me. I'm going to put them back to back. They slot in there. But there it really is no room for anything else and it doesn't expand anymore so it closes up and i could probably go around but there's no back pocket there's no card slots there's nothing in here that makes this as versatile as the other one so this is a fail for me i got this really cheap i got it i think for like 50 bucks at the outlet so i'm not like completely crying over it but i've never i've never used it because it does not it does not suit my purpose. So I can't get a p some keys in here. I can't get anything um, in here that's gonna work for me. So this one is not something I would recommend. But I do have several others that are along the same lines as the um, Michael Kors there in the luxury realm. And that's this Cassandra wallet, same thing where it has its chain already attached. There are card slots in the back. There are, there's this um, coin, purse, whatever. I could, and I have put my Pro Max here, put my work phone here in the zipper compartment, had the card slots and been able to close and run out the door with this one. But my favorite one is actually my Felici. The Felici is incredibly, um, spacious and versatile. So I, and I love the fact that you can take the strap off and it can be a clutch. It comes with these pouches. In fact, I love this pouch so much. I love this so much. I have another one and that's my everyday wallet. So you'll see it up in that purse. That's what I'm carrying right now. My, I love it so much. I bought a spare and I keep the spare with the actual purse. So when you're in here, there's a slip pocket, the open space, the chain that comes with it, it's removable. It's, it's my favorite. If I could have, I would have several of these. General philosophy is not to have duplicates of highly expensive bags. Um, I like to have one and use it often, but there, this is probably one of the few that I would make exception to and have several of. I probably have a canvas or a different um, of the leather versions of it, but I just really think the Felici is a good bag. You can find them actually in the pre loved market relatively reasonable. Unfortunately, what you'll usually find is they've been split up, so you'll only find the outer pouch and the separate individual pieces will be sold separately. So that's kind of the, the one downfall and it's gone up significantly since I bought it. I bought it for around 1200 and I think it's now in the 15s. I still think it's worth it technically for what um, it offers, but it, it's definitely more expensive. So those are my walks that I live for. 
let's move on to some of the actual larger handbags that um, are still small, in my opinion, compact, in my opinion, but um, are my go-tos and things that I will grab on a regular basis. So what I often do is my wall over here of handbags those are my like, contemporary i have several other ones elsewhere in the the room but that's kind of like my grab and go wall up there and there are a few different that can be considered crossbody styles mostly the uh coach burrow which i have four of right now that's probably my go-to contemporary one um, or had been my go-to contemporary one i just picked up this ralph lauren farrah and I think this is probably the most reasonable, modern, current made, um, and very spacious bag. And it comes with a crossbody strap on the inside. It holds a ton of things in there. It's, it's a very lovely leather. Um, they have a, a number of variations of it over the years. It's quite beautiful. There's a pocket here on the back. Um, I, this is really, really nice. So this is definitely getting high up there on my list of go-tos and, and wanting to carry. Um, so I really do like that, but the coach burrow, where did I just put it right there? The coach burrow, this is the, um, medium, if I remember correctly. So the medium size, and I have this in the gray, white bicolor. I have it in the, uh, green there. And do I have another one? I think that's it. Yeah. So I have it in a couple different colors. It comes with the strap. Um, very spacious, has several zipper compartments. This is, this is a very good, no longer made bag, but you can still pick them up on the pre-lived market really regularly. But my number one go-to smaller bag is my Alma. And that is what I'm using this week. So I have it wrapped up with bandeaus. The bandeau is coming apart right now because my handles are very, very warm. This is a, this is a 2000, I think it's a 2000, might be 1999. I can't remember the, the year. Anywho, a, a very well-loved, well-used um, Alma PM and it, I like to carry it top handle, but it does have um, the little attachments there. So you can make it a crossbody. I have purchased a crossbody strap that I carry in there in the event I do want to crossbody it, but it is incredibly spacious. It carries everything I possibly need um, when I'm out with the nieces or friends shopping. If I'm going to go out shopping for the day, this is the bag I carry probably 90% of the time. So if I'm going to go on a trek up to Portland, which is what I did this last weekend, went up there shopping around, going to be gone for at least four hours, if not the entire day. This is what I'm going to carry. I can carry a ton in it, everything I need um, for the entire day. This is probably, like I said, my close second, this Coach Burrow. Um, and now that I have the Farah, I would probably say the Farah is up there too. But if you can pick up your, yourself one of these PMs, they're incredibly reasonable in this price range um, or in this condition, I should say. I, I think I paid like 500 for this. Um, I kind of want to try a, a, a BB because that is designed to be more crossbody, but I think the BB is going to be a little bit too small for me. I don't want the constrictive um, method of getting in and out of it. I, I think it's this is just the right size for me, and I would even go up to a larger size, but I personally like the PM. But um, I have read and have heard from others that the BB is is quite substantial for them, and you might consider that for yourself. So if you're in the mood for a luxe upper high-end bag, I would consider this one, and you can find them on a variety of conditions, a variety of price points, but still relatively reasonable for a high-end bag. So those are my favorite go-to small, <laughs> small bags. Some are small, some are pretty large in my opinion, but um, I think they're, they're good ones to try out. 
So if you're looking for something that's crossbody or smaller, these I think are good options. I mean, there's lots of other brands out there, but that's kind of the the area that I stick to. But you know, you can look for things from like Reed Krakoff, that's been really popular, other Ralph Lauren styles as well. Um, there's several that come out um, at a pretty reasonable price point, usually sub 500. Um, I know reasonable, <laughs> but you can find them on the pre-love market as well, um, relatively reasonable. So so I would consider anything from these brands, quite frankly. So I'd love to hear what you're carrying, what you utilize. Do you use similar styles? Do you use wallet on chains as your wallet and then put them inside your larger bag so you can do the same multi-purpose type of um, utilization with yours? Or do you just use them for the certain occasions? So um, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. Hope you take care. Bye.